I have just received a package and this is from Robin uh, who is Robin Osborne and I just wanted to show you this lovely wallpaper that it is all packaged in um, how beautiful is that look at that lovely blue print on there it's just lovely thank you so much for that Robin so I'm going to carefully go and take that off and then I'll be back so luckily that just slides right off so I can um, just peel that tape off and I'll have some lovely wallpaper to use. So thank you Robin. Um, okay. I wonder what could be in here. She um, contacted me I think yesterday and said she had sent a little package to me. She was cleaning some things out and thought I might be interested in um, a few things to alter so oh I don't know what's in here let's have a look and as usual Robin does some beautiful I think they're printables all her address labels and things are done that way and it's really pretty and that, just a sticky dot under there so I'll just have a quick read she sent me a lovely little card there for you. Jujanette Hugs Robin, made with love. And this is a printable. It's such a good idea. My printer's out of ink. I can't print anything at the moment. Okay, so like I said, she was having a clean out. It must be the thing at the moment. I've been having a bit of a clean out myself. And um, she hopes I don't mind her sending these. Uh, and anything I can't use to send on to other people if they might like it so I will I will certainly do that if there's something here that I don't think I can use let's have a look <laughs> oh wow look at that oh that is so beautiful oh look it's a tattered doily goodness let me just put this tissue paper down so you can See how lovely it is. There we go. Just beautiful. Oh, just sit down. My hearing's coming better. It's still a little bit um, blocked, but I can hear better. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Robin. I love tattered doilies, and I do use them. Um, I use them in my craft room and in my crafting. That's beautiful, thank you. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this one is. That's so fine. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful, thank you. Oh wow, these are so pretty. going to put my other glasses on so I can see oh that is such a delicate lace around the edge of that it's so beautiful I'm just trying to see that's the right side there isn't that gorgeous look at that lace that is so pretty oh I love it and then we have this one does that have a pattern on it, I wonder? Some of these can be a bit hard to see. Oh, look. It's got a clover pattern on it. That's really lovely. And then we have this one here. And this one has little dimensional flowers around the edge of it. Goodness, that's beautiful. That's as light, so light, and they're vintage, so obviously they do have marks on them, and that's fine because you know, when they have marks on it, makes them much easier to cut up and use in projects. Like, if they're perfect, it can be a little bit daunting to cut anything up, but if they've got some sort of a imperfection, it does help. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that one. 
I love these roughly edged ones. They make lovely little gathery bits. Oh, I love that. That's lovely. Just beautiful. Wow. And then we have another one of these. Let's see if I can see. Yes, it's got a pattern all the way around it. Really, really pretty, aren't they? Really lovely. Oh, isn't that pretty? The circles. Really lovely. Oh wow, look at this. Isn't that unusual? Wow. I see it better if I look in the viewfinder. That's so unusual. It's very um, soft and, and flowy. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? You can almost see where you can cut these pieces apart. Really, really lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's another one of those as well. Look at that. Wow. That's lovely. Thank you. And another one. Love them. Aren't they beautiful? The white work. It's really nice. Beautiful. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, isn't that nice? That's lovely. Now it's too big to get in in shot as it is, but it's like from there down is the same as from there up. So you've got this part up here as well. It's really, really beautiful, isn't it? goes up like that. I love this like this woven lattice effect. It's just beautiful. It's really really nice. Thank you so much. It's so dangly kind of. It's really lovely. Look at this. Oh this oh wow is that like off a wedding veil? with embroidery all around the edge. I think it might be. Oh wow, that's really lovely. And look, it's got, yes. Um, would it be oh, a veil of some kind? Maybe a communion? Uh, what is it, a holy communion? Do they still do that these days? I know my sister um, did her communion and wore a veil but that was that was like oh, a long 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 time ago that's beautiful thank you so much it's nice and soft isn't it I love the edging on it it's lovely oh look what she said oh look at this Look at that little, little like ballet shoes, children's ballet shoes. They've got Tinkerbell inside of them. Aren't they cute? Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, I'll be able to alter those. I've, I've never um, altered a, a children's shoe. Like I've made paper mache ballet shoes and I've still got a baby shoe here to alter that somebody sent me um, but I haven't done it yet because you know you've got to be inspired to do it so now there's two little jiffy shoes to alter so that will be fun thank you so much Robin that's something different that I don't have <laughs> Uh, 
twiddly bits. So we've got a couple of frames, which is good. They're in chipboard and they're slightly different sizes by the look of it. Two different size frames. Oh, lovely. Thank you. And a hanging ornament. Uh, a Christmas ornament, but it doesn't matter. You could use that for Valentine's. You can just use it in a craft room. That's the beauty of having a craft place or space or room. You can decorate it all year round in any way you wish to decorate it. And I love that. I do. Thank you. That'll be nice to add something to. And what's this? Some chipboard pieces. So pretty. So we have some chipboard flowers. Let me just move that bag so it's not too glary. Nice big piece there. And this one. And look at the flourish. I do love flourishes. I do. Fabulous filigrees. Oh look. So a couple of chipboard pieces there as well. Thank you so much. And a couple of wooden dress forms. That's lovely. Thank you. Pop those. Look at this box. That's wonderful. I love storage boxes. That's going to be a lot of fun too. That's like be real glass actually. I'm not sure. Um, that's, that's lovely. Thank you very much for that. The little ballet shoes. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to get something different to alter, isn't it? Oh, what's this? That's nice, isn't it? It's got a grape vine going all the way around it. Is that the same little, oh, it's a little bowl? So there's two little um, containers to alter up. Pink cushions. <laughs> that's just that's just my go-to. <laughs> Actually, they're lovely shapes for pink cushions. They're just lovely. And look at all this pattern paper that I can use as well, which is a gift in itself. And there's also. It's a little, um, I don't know which way it goes, I, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, which way would, I suppose they're flat, so that, uh, if they're flat, that must go like that, I'm thinking. So that's a, it's a holder of some kind. Um, Perhaps a soap dish holder. It's a put something in it. I'll have to make something to go in it. Yes, it's very nice. It's metal. It's metal. Oh, that's interesting. And look, I have a bird. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. It's got its little clip underneath. Thank you very much. Put it in that little dish there. And then lastly, there are some Melissa Francis vintage, vintage embellishments. This basket of flowers is so pretty. I don't think I've got anything from Melissa Francis. 
Oh, thank you so much. Aren't they lovely? Maybe something can go on the box. And are they, what are they made out of? Uh, acrylic or something. Oh. Been on there a while, haven't they? Um, it could go on the box, perhaps. Be on the top of the box. Would that still open? Yes, that would still open. And then maybe the. Oops, I've got the basket here. Maybe. A little one down here with something behind it. Maybe part of one of those flourishes that are in the box. Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? That'll be fun to play with, aren't they? Nice. Thank you so much. That's a great um, template for a spool for some lace or something as well. It is. It would make a nice um, journal shape as well, wouldn't it? Mm. Thank you very much, Robin. Put that in there so I don't lose those. Thank you for thinking of me. Like I said, I was having my own little clear out um, last week because since I moved into the room, I kind of just put the cubes in the in the shelving. I decorated the front of them, but I never sorted through them. And I've been in the room almost a year now, and um, everything is working very, very well. But I was getting frustrated because I couldn't remember where things were in my cubes. So last week I took everything out of the cubes, put them on my bed and sorted through everything, put everything into bags and labelled all the cubes and that and um, passed on a lot of things that I may no longer sort of be interested in using because, you know, our tastes do change over time. And I sent a few things to the op shop as well because it's always nice to be able to um, give back to those stores, you know, which is usually where I buy stuff from anyway. Um, and so this week I've been concentrating on paper things because I found that I had my paper things in three different areas and it's really hard to... Um, find things and I made something I can't remember there were two ladies actually there was one lady on Facebook and I'll put her name on the screen um, and there was also Artsology I think it was um, she made an embellishment folder and so that's what I did as well and I've got plenty of room in here to still add things in because I don't have huge amounts of uh, of embellishments. But as you can see, I didn't do it exactly the same way as her. I did slit the thing, but I've tucked everything inside. I would do it a little bit different if I add more pages to it. Um, and I've had to stitch mine because I just used like the these pockets and I made the slits like she did and then I inserted some cardstock in there, taped the top part shut and my little things are in here and I found if I put them in it, they easy fall out if you're not careful so I just tuck them under that part as well and then they don't go anywhere so it's working really really well but as you can see there's lots of space because I don't have huge amounts of ephemera um, but yeah this is the big one thing that I sorted through um, and 
so that's it for that one and I've still got to do my drawers I haven't actually thrown anything out because like I said I don't have, <laughs> have a lot of paper ephemera stuff but it is nice because you forget what you have um, and you don't use it if you don't know where it is so I want to get that all organized and I thought well with um, my son being on school holidays at the moment I'm at home a lot more so it's the perfect time so it must be the season for it I'm thinking so there we go what a lovely gift from um, Robin thank you so much Robin I do appreciate that and I will pass um, some of these doilies on because I, I do have doilies and if I've got anything like doubles like there's two of this white one I'll pass one of those on and you know I've got a few of these kinds so I will pass those on as well these ones here so um, I will definitely be sharing and even this I may even cut that in half and share share that because you don't need huge uh, amounts of one thing it's nice to have a variety but you really only need a small amount don't you um, because by the time you use it you, you want to be moving on to something different as well I've found so it's nice to share things around okay thank you for joining me today and thank you so much Robin and I am going to also be showing you a package from Bonnie who is Bonnie and Clive on YouTube as well it was just a small order I made and I'll show you after this so the first thing I want to share with you this week is an order I placed with Bonnie who is Bonnie and Clive on YouTube and she has an Etsy store where she sells uh, uh, junk journal things, a lot of recycled things and some pre-made tags and things like that. Um, it came wrapped in this wonderful crunchy paper with this, I love this ribbon, I really do, it reminds me, it'll be great in a journal, it, I just, it's very nesty isn't it, I love that, thank you Bonnie for that, with a little charm on the front of it as well. Um, I just I wanted to show you how she packaged it and I thought this is such a good idea she's used this old book cover there's no insides to it but what a great way to um, send something that you don't want it to bend or anything like that and I can reuse that cover for something else she also included a few extras to what I ordered um, which was very kind of you thank you Barney you didn't have to do that but very sweet of you we have that lovely lace applique piece there isn't that wonderful it's even dimensional it's got like little um, overlay pieces on it as well a lovely piece of lace with some iridescent threads going through it a lovely doily look at that isn't that pretty beautiful doily and a little thank you gift in one of her bags she does sell these on her Etsy store I think they're tea or coffee dyed I've um, ordered those before from her and she sent me some of these lovely little buttons as well which was very very kind of her um, I think I might even uh, put some of those alcohol inks on those and see how they turn out as well so thank you so much for that Barney that was very kind of you and I all what I ordered from her was a pack of these little envelopes here just little um, almost like seed packet envelopes they do come slightly stuck together and she did explain this in a video quite some time ago because I think she found them at a reuse center or something so they've got like a tiny little bit where the um, adhesive has stuck and all you have to do is just carefully cut that little bit there and then they're perfect to use um, no damage done just see where the, the adhesive has just melted onto the thing um, so that's an easy fix so I ordered a pack of those from her and that's I think there's 15 in there oh yep 15 <laughs> I didn't even see that before 
so and I also ordered this fabric from her she had this up on her channel mm, last week I think of these fabric strips that she'd received that she'd bought from a lady on a day out um, the lady used to make strip quilts from them and they reminded me of my mum's old lounge she used to have a Regency striped lounge in green and pink tones and it was very similar to this it also had the gold going through it so I thought it would be lovely to grab a couple of pieces of this fabric from Bonnie um, also she sent me a little challenge um, she had asked me she had said to me quite a while ago now that she'd like to send me a little um, challenge with these I think they're slides yes slides these are the plastic ones I haven't actually had the plastic ones before I think the only slides I recall are the cardboard ones the um, Kodak slides my parents used to have those so she sent these to me in the hopes that I'll be able to um, make something out of them and I haven't really looked around and got any ideas yet but I will do that definitely do that I'm just looking at the pictures in them and try and figure out something to do with them so that will be interesting I oh, wonder do they open at all they don't open like the cardboard ones do they hmm which does make it a challenge but I'll work something out anyway okay so that's what I got from Bonnie and I like I said I'll put a, a link in the description box below to her channel and her Etsy store so thank you everybody bye bye